one of the many tools that we use for trading is Epic Pen. Today, we're going to review how to use Epic Pen as well as taking a screenshot using the snipping tool. Now, whenever you're ready to evaluate a trade, one of the tools that you're going to use to help evaluate it is called the Epic Pen. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my charts and pull up Epic Pen. Here on the bottom left hand of my desktop, that is the Epic Pen icon. And at the very top black and white icon, you can click on it and you could drag it anywhere on your screen. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my charts again and you can still see that the Epic Pen is still on my screen. Now the very first icon on the nav bar, it looks like a little eye. Whenever you click on it, that's the invisible button. Epic Pen is still there and you could still move it around, but the entire bar just went invisible. When you click on it, it will open back up the entire menu option. Directly underneath that, you'll see a cursor icon, and whenever you click on it, it will allow you to use your cursor, and then directly under that is the pen icon. So whenever you're ready to draw on your screen, you'll click the pen, and you could change the colors down here, and I will show you real quick. Another option that you can use besides the pen is the highlighter. So it works just like a highlighter versus a pen. So a lot of people will use a highlighter whenever they're trying to recognize the trend or the higher highs and the higher lows. The next feature under pen is to create lines or shapes. Um, this feature you do have to buy Epic Pen, but on the free version you don't have access to creating lines or other shapes. Underneath that is the eraser. So whenever you click on it, you can actually drag and click whatever you want to erase. So here you can change the different sizes of the pen or the highlighter. Um, you could do large or a small. The smaller option is of course a smaller size pen. The next feature is to undo any last action. So if you click on it, it'll undo the last action. The next feature looks like a little trash can and this will completely clear your screen. So if you had a bunch of writing all over your screen like this, and whenever you click on the trash can, it will dump everything. The whiteboard feature is a feature that's only for paid versions. Um, if you want to buy it, you could click the buy now button. And then the next below that is to take a screenshot. Now we don't really use this feature just because your snipping tool, if you have a Windows operating system, is a lot easier to use opposed to this one on Epic Pen. And then whenever you click on the clipboard, it's just a little menu option that will come up. So if you want to go ahead and evaluate this green ball, you're just going to click the pen. And if you want to, you can change the different colors. For now, I'm just going to use this red. And just to give you a better picture, we're looking at this green ball. So you do want to show that you are looking at the trend correctly. Look at the higher highs, the higher lows, and I'll go ahead and draw these lines. And a lot of people like to use the highlighter option instead of the pen because it's easier to see the double bars and all the candlesticks behind your drawing. And here you can mark your tops, like your higher highs and your higher lows. And then also looking at the retracement, you could cut this big line in half as your 50% retracement. So I'm gonna go back and select my pen feature. And we can go ahead and start writing out our torch. So T, I would say it's zero because it's in an uptrend. And then the next is the retracement. For the retracement, I would say you could either take off zero to one point, just depending on the style of trading that you develop. And then next is your cloudy stop. So if you look at your entry price, you could count down three points. One, two, three. And for the most part, it is kind of clear of the clouds. So again, depending on your own trading style, you could take off anywhere from zero to two points. So I'm just gonna put zero to one point. And then for your headroom, you wanna go back to your entry price and count up four points. So that's one, two, three, four. So you have plenty of headroom. So I'm gonna take off zero for that. So this trade is anywhere from a 58 to 60% trade. You could actually change the color um, just so it's easier to read. And you wanna write that out on your screen because we are gonna take a screenshot of this trade. And I'm gonna go back to the menu option on my Epic Pen and click cursor because I need to move my charts a little bit over to the left. 
So I can see exactly the entry price whenever I take the screenshot. Now if you're using a Windows operating system, all windows come with the snipping tool. On the bottom left hand of your screen, you could either click the start button or on your keyboard, click the little Windows start button. You want to use a search bar and type in snipping. So whenever you start typing it in, it's right here and you can click on it and it'll open up. So this is a snipping tool. Here where it says new, there's a little drop down option and whenever you click on it, Make sure rectangular is selected. So when you take a new screenshot, your screen is gonna go a little fuzzy. So whenever you're at your starting point, here I'm on the top left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to left click and drag my cursor all the way across the screen. And whenever I have everything in the box that I want in there, I'm going to release the mouse. And when you're done, the picture is gonna pop up. Now, as you can see, there's two Epic Pens on the screen, and just as a reminder, one is on the actual picture. Now, to clear your screen again, you wanna select the Epic Pen and click the trash can, and whenever you click on it, it will again clear your screen. And then at the top left-hand side, it'll give you the option of saving it or creating a whole new snippet. I'm ready to save it. So whenever you click Save, it'll ask you to rename the file you're gonna to wanna to put the date of the actual trade, the time, and then your position. So this date of the trade was August 20th of 2019. So I'm gonna put 2019-0820, underscore the time that the trade took place, which was 1150, and then underscore my position was long. And here you can see that it's gonna to save to my desktop. So now what we're going to do, we're going to pull up our documents because we're going to create a folder to hold all of our screenshots. So when you open up the documents, you can see the screenshot right there, but we're going to create a new folder. So here on the top left hand of the window, you can see a little folder that says new folder. And whenever you rename your folder, what we're really trying to do is create a portfolio for you, for you to look back and review all of your previous trades. You can really rename it anything that you like, but just for practical reasons, I'm just gonna rename it Trade Screenshots. So I know that that is a designated folder for all of my screenshots of my trades. So now that we've created a folder, we're gonna go back to our charts and see how the trade finishes. So I'm on a playback, so I'm gonna go ahead and move my charts up. Okay, so it does look like we won the trade and you can pull up your epic pen again click pen and you can count up four points from your entry price so we have one two three four so it looks like we won with a quarter point to spare so now we're going to take another screenshot of the results so i'm going to go ahead and write out r for results and then plus four so results are plus four points so as we take another screenshot we're going to press the Windows Start button and in the search bar start typing in snipping and we're going to open up the snipping tool and then we click new and make sure that you left click and drag the cursor across the entire area you want to capture. So now we're going to go ahead and clear the screen again by clicking the little trash can and we're going to click save. So you want to save it in that same folder that we just created. Click the folder. So again, we're going to rename the file to the date, time, and position. So it would be 2019-0820 underscore. The time that we exited the trade is 1225 underscore long. And I'm going to click save. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this window. And I'm going to go back to my desktop. And here you can see the folder that we created. So whenever you double click on it, it should have those two screenshots that we just saved. Again, you can use this to send to your liaison or you can use it as a portfolio to look back at your previous trades. If you'd like to sit in behind the scenes on a live trading session, go to sp500trader.com or call us at 888-646 8787. For weekly tips and tricks, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook.